Well, we'll figure that out. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate this a great deal. I've been hearing great reports on the uh, group that's meeting up here in Wellington, and because I'm supposed to be down at the Capitol for the first four months out of the year, I wasn't able to join you at all, and hopefully I'll be able to do that uh, uh, a bit in the future. Uh, so many things. Let me start with the global warming issue. I've got a question, though. What was this story in the Colorado one? It was some biologist, I think it was with some group, I don't remember exactly what it was. <clears throat> but what she said, well, the, the headline is, does Lundberg think the world is flat? And then Whoa! Goes, <laughs> then goes on and you know, talks about how you um, were very anti-Earth Day and were with these, uh, even though it's a bipartisan issue and Republicans and Democrats were supporting <laughs> Earth Day Did they quote issue. me? Yeah, oh, it, it, it's, the, the, our, it's a soapbox. Which yeah. and it targets you directly, oh, which, yeah. is, which yeah, against the Colorado in policy, yeah. but they went ahead and slipped that in anyway. Yeah, yeah. But they didn't um, quote him. Well, oh yeah. Oh, they did. Okay, well I hope they did because I uh, somebody did send me a uh, how dare you vote against the Earth Day resolution, and so I sent them back my concerns with it, which is it's more than just a warm fuzzy Arbor Day type event. It actually promotes a lot of political agendas. And I was not willing to assent to um, to signing on as well. But there were four or five of us, if I recall, that in the Senate that said, no, we'll give a pass on voting for the Earth Day resolution. Uh, but let me go to the polar bears for a little bit here. Because uh, here in our country, in the public schools, political agendas can be thought quite freely. In the UK, apparently, they have a, a law that says you can't do that. And um, some teacher did present Al Gore's Inconvenient Truth movie, and a parent sued them and challenged them that this was all political and, and it was the facts just weren't there. One of which, one fact of which, which was then tested in that UK court was, are polar bears dying because of global warming or not? And in fact, in a court of law in the UK, it, it was, uh, they couldn't prove it. Um, yeah, it's really an inconvenient truth. It's, it's the most extraordinary book. I've never seen the movie. I've perused the book. You ought to pick a copy up. Go to your library. I don't recommend it. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. But the reason I'm familiar with this is my daughter, who is a student at Ames Community College, was assigned the book as a major task for a, um, what was the class? Uh, I think it was like an English uh, class or something like that. It, 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 it was curious that, that this was a major part of the course, was to read the book, An Inconvenient Truth, and then report on it without using any outside references. <laughs> you could not refer to any other book except that book. You could bring in your own personal experience, and quite fortunately, my daughter uh, um, <clears throat> videotapes for me, and so she has uh, videotaped uh, William Gray giving uh, his presentation. Uh, uh, he did that uh, for for us down at the Capitol. Uh, I'm uh, uh, associated with the Republican Study Committee of Colorado. As a matter of fact, I'm the chairman right now. But a couple of years ago, we had a uh, uh, um, a hearing on the subject of global warming, and we had Bill Gray come in and speak, and we also had a, a gentleman by the name of, uh, of um, uh, well, regardless, uh, Marlon Lewis is, was his name, from the competitive, the competitive Enterprise Institute, which is a good source of information. I don't know what they have, but do or do not have on the web, but I know they certainly work on this subject quite a bit, as well as the Hartman Institute uh, does a lot of work on the subject of, of debunking the global warming myths. Um, <clears throat> if you're available, uh, in D.C. on June 2nd, they'll be having an all-day conference. Uh, I even checked the airline uh, flights myself, but decided I probably didn't have the wherewithal to make it happen, but, but uh, they're going to be having an all-day conference on that subject. Um, also, another resource I would give you for global warming issues is, uh, uh, get this down, you'll probably hear this uh, recurring thing, kevinlundberg.com, that's my website. <laughs> the reason I refer to it with, with respect to global warming is uh, some time ago, a few years ago, I determined that 
uh, figured out that this is a major political agenda. This is driving so much of what we see on the left right now. Um, and so I decided I better dig into this and find out what are the facts? What does science say? What, what of the political science, what is occurring? But primarily, just what are the facts? And so I, I've tried to put some information on my website. I, I wish I could do more. Um, Frankly, if anybody wants to help me on compiling that, I'd be more than uh, than uh, anxious to to you know plug in and say you know and let's because when you go on the internet, which is kind of the, that great master library we all have nowadays, um, it's there's a lot of stuff out there, but it's difficult to find it. There are some good organizations like the Heartland Institute, like the <coughs> Enterprise Institute that are working pretty diligently, um, and uh, uh, and yet <clears throat> to just, you know, click onto a website and there's all the information is difficult to find. Uh, so I thought, well, at the very minimum, I'll try to just pull as many of those links and resources together that I can. And so I've got some stuff on, on my website. It's, it's not not enough, but it's it'll certainly keep you busy for some time if you want to, including <clears throat> the full presentation that <clears throat> Excuse me, Dr. Gray gave down at the Capitol for us uh, now two years ago. Uh, we videotaped that, and, and I got it in little bite-sized chunks of about seven to ten minutes on, on uh, each uh, section of what he said. I, I thought at first I'll just give the highlights, and then when I went through the video, I realized I can't eliminate anything he said because it, it all really does uh, lend itself and. and even though it's two years ago, it, the facts are the same. They haven't changed at all. So, would recommend those elements if you want to dig deeper into that arena. Um, I find it fascinating that they're taking me on on the global warming. I mean, I, I've been throwing red meat for a couple of years, hoping they'd go after this because, uh, one, it's an issue that needs to be brought up to the forefront. Yes. People need to realize this. Last year, down at the Capitol, at one point, um, there, there was some some event that was occurring. I, I don't recall what it was, but but I threw out the point of I considered the governor's glo uh, climate action. What does he call it? Climate action plan. I think that's what he calls it. Uh, to be based on junk science. Use the word junk science. So that's kind of red meat. They love that. And they did. Uh, and, and the reason is because it is. If you look at his climate action plan, in the first paragraph, he's completely wrong. He talks about how how uh, uh, the um, what is it? The last out of the last ten years, or out of the last dozen dozen years, uh, ten of them have been the hottest years on record. Well, that's not true. Uh, you you go back to the 30s; those were the years where most of the hottest years. If you know, when we say hottest years, we only have uh, reliable information for the last hundred years or so, maybe 150. But but um, even there, you go back, and it's not that we couldn't measure things, it's just that we weren't doing it at the same level of uh, scrutiny as we are today. And when you get to the really accurate stuff, you're talking about satellite information that's, that's tracking, you know, a, a lot of different uh, factors, and that's only the, the last 20 years or so. So to say, you know, it may be fair to say in the last dozen years we've had, had 10 of the hottest years on record, because our records only go back about 20 years, you know. Uh, 